Hello hey. and welcome to the sound live. I have a special <laughs> guest today, Kyle Walls. Kyle hey, is a singer, a songwriter, guitar player, and an all-around cool dude. And Kyle has a brand new album called Blood Candy. Pick a song or two from it. Tell us a little bit more details this time. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah what, one of my favorite songs to play out, and this often becomes a set closer, is called The One. And it's a blues song, kind of in a style of B.B. King. You know, not in your traditional blues style. And I like it because it mixes up the chords a little bit. So when, when I go to solo, I can add a little bit more flavor, kind of crank up that bluesy spice a little bit. And that's a lot yeah. of fun to play. And it has a great ending. It ends and everyone's expecting, like, there's going to be something else. And it leaves you hanging in the best way. It's a, it's a lot of fun to play. Awesome. Uh, and then the, the contrast with that, there's a song called That Way that's kind of like um, – 60s ska kind of like root ska in a way mm -hmm. uh you know emphasis on those upbeats and it tells a very silly love story about someone just wanting to give their love and affection and give all that attention and emotion and what that person really wants is like something frivolous something petty something like a ring a show hey look at all this jewelry you give me and you're just saying love doesn't work that way I want to give you, I want to give you something from the inside. So that, that's a fun song. Yeah, when you hear it, you think, oh, this is just something basic, but <laughs> the, the story gets pretty deep in that one. I like it. Really cool, cool Kyle. Awesome. Sure. So this is Sunray, and um, I'm probably going to mispronounce his name because apparently Australian last names, a whole different rule applies, but this is Ray Thistlewaite. Hopefully that's close enough so people know who I'm talking about. Uh, he was the singer and one of the songwriters in the band Thirsty Merc. And I remember hearing one of their songs way back in the early 2000s, but uh, YouTuber uh, Jared Vinar, we did a collaboration uh, about a year ago mm -hmm. and he covered a Thirsty Merc song. And I come in and, hey, this is a really cool song. And he's like, well, why don't you give it a try? You know, I mean, in, in a fun way to, to encourage me. And so, you know, I, I covered the same song too. And it was kind of fun. We had this conversation. But it opened me up to this other world of music that was pretty new to me. And um, like I said, the, this guy, uh, Ray, was the singer, one of the songwriters of Thirsty Merc. And this was a really cool video, seeing his solo show. Uh, he does some looping and things, so it'll be interesting to to see what what you uh, think of this. Um, mm -hmm. When we listened to uh, Scary Pockets, mm -hmm. he was a guest guitar player. He didn't really do anything special in that particular video, and I mentioned, "Hey, this guy was in Thirsty Merc." In case mm -hmm. someone sees our video of that of that reaction okay. too. Yeah, music teacher reacts to Sunray till the lights come on. So far, Los Angeles. Here we go! This is called Till the Lights Come On. And um, this is on the EP. It's a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Just gonna do my best. <laughs> um, version of the disco beat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have that exact same loop pedal that I use for my live streams. Cool. It's really, really neat, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. That 45 little thing I wanna say, baby, blow my mind. I hope to meet you later when we step out tonight. 
All the girls are overrated, but baby, you're so fly. I can see that I want you. I'll be a soldier on a mission for you. Any day without you makes my heart feel so sorry. But baby, don't worry, worry, girl. As true as the stardust in your eyes, there's only one way to paradise. Stuck in my mind like my favorite song. You keep dancing, dancing, dancing until lights come on. Till lights come on. Come on. 
it was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was such a cool, <laughs> cool performance, man. That was so <laughs> I like he, he he finished the song. It's like I was like, hey, thanks everybody. <laughs> so cool, dude. Okay, um, where to start? So the most amazing thing about it to me that stuck out the most is that you could hear his vocal so crisp and clear yeah. when he didn't have a headset microphone that I could see. Maybe he had yeah. something in his hair or something, but it didn't sound like it. It sounded like just the audio from the camera from over the air yeah. is what it sounded. It didn't sound like it had any processing on the vocal at all. It right. didn't sound like it went through a mixing board or a, or a, a DAW. It just sounded raw and awesome. Uh, yeah. And I was, I was shocked that he, because he must have had the volume of the loop and those keyboards incredibly reasonable mm -hmm. if just acoustically he's singing it over top of it. So yeah. that, that's my first point. That was pretty impressive. Um, because, like, there was not really a moment where I felt like, you know, I was having trouble hearing his voice or understanding what he was saying. It, it didn't really feel like it needed to be louder, and I was surprised at that. I, I was like, where's his microphone? Yeah. Right? He's got to have a microphone, right? Come on, where is it? <laughs> um, it's like he's being recorded. <laughs> his bass work with his left hand just was so funky and nice and i like how he didn't start off with the full percussion loop at the beginning i like yeah. how he just started off with just the quarter notes and then you know he added the more movement um later i thought that was really cool because if he started off with all of that then i think the song would have ultimately not been able to have been as long and be as engaging as it was yeah. And I also think that he ended it at the appropriate time because if he had gone on too much longer without really adding anything, it would have been a little bit much. But his his jazz phrasing in the solo section was really good. Oh, I yeah. loved his phrasing. Um, it just, you know, his the melodic lines that he was playing, it just – you know, it was just so nice and just fluid. And, it, you know, he's making that piano sing. And then he used so many different synthesizer sounds on that right hand. Like there was that, like that one thing that he was doing for a while. It almost sounded like underwater or like weird detuning thing. Yeah. You know, like the, he started with the EP and then he had that underwater weird detuning thing. And then he went to like a, like sort of like a funky, like acoustic piano sound. Um, you know, and just, like I thought it was also cool how he used the loop pedal for the drums, but then he was playing the bass and the keys live the whole time, like regardless. Like he didn't – I mean maybe he didn't just have it hooked up that way, but he didn't use the looper for the keys or whatever. So for example, like when he was playing the solo in the right hand, he was still playing the bass. He didn't just loop it. You know what I mean? And and that I just you can't say enough about that because, you know, like it's just like keeping as much of that live element as possible, you yeah. know, and he really he really was doing a great job of that. Um, I am really grateful that you shared that with me. I, I'm going to have to check check them out. Sunray and see what see what else they got going on. Yeah. And I, I, I think it's mainly just him. Um, mm -hmm. If you like him, check out Thirsty Merc too uh, some of their music is often hard to get here in the states because you'll go to look for it it's like not accessible in this country or yeah every once in a while you'll hit that with them um yeah what you said about the vocals not being mic'd that's a huge deal because you could to, to me the video really puts you in the audience you know mm -hmm. it does a great job of making you feel like you're there sitting there with your phone, you know, out recording so you can show your friends later or just enjoying that show. Yeah. It was so, so present. And, um, the only mic, uh, there was like a, one of those blue mics somewhere off the distance. I don't know if that was hooked to the camera. Probably. That's but probably the, what they did. Like yeah. a baby bottle or something hooked to the camera. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, or, and or the levels. Yeah. The levels though, he, and, and you can tell, like anytime I've played a gig, like in, um, like in a place for breakfast, you know, they'll say, Hey, don't mic your vocals or can you play acoustic or whatever. And 
and you always have to make those adjustments. And the way he was doing that, especially looping a beat that he was doing, you know, kind of beatbox style. Um, and with keyboards that are obviously amplified, the way he was able to just keep all that volume going in, in a balanced way, that is, that is a very masterful performer. Be well, that's because, what you I was know, saying. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and saying this for people that don't know music, you know, I in a mm -hmm. setting like that, you don't have like a sound person that you can, you know, whisper into microphones like, hey, sound person, I need to talk to you. And then they cut you out of the that house looked like a driveway and, performance. Yeah. You know, it's like some backyard or something like and that. Which is cool. Dude, I've done a yeah. lot of driveway performances. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm cool with them. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. 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 You know, um, but, yeah. but people don't uh, <laughs> that just listen to music and don't know about the performing. Those those little details on the back end and knowing mm -hmm. that. It's it's probably just on him, you know. I'm sure he showed up, plugged in, and was like, "All right, let's do it." And 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 people that perform like that, there's a lot of appreciation, you know, that that you can uh, show for them because that is that's tough. Yeah, I I love that, and I just I don't know. It was virtuosic again, man. I love I love you keep introducing me to cool stuff that I haven't heard before, yeah. and it's awesome. <laughs> you have a different yeah, see, I, taste, but I like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's the idea. That's what's fun about these, you know. Everybody, make sure you check out Blood Candy. You can go to Kyle yeah. Walls. Um, just, just, just seriously, just go to whatever streaming platform you like, um, and just type in Kyle Walls. Real simple, and um, yeah. check out his music. Um, you will be, uh, you will be enjoying it. Uh, he's a really cool artist, and um, make sure you go over to YouTube and check out Kyle's channel. I, I almost forget to do the mirroring thing. <laughs> Check go over to YouTube and check out Kyle's I think channel. You're dancing. <laughs> yeah, he does all kinds of great stuff. A lot of stuff with original music. Um, he had a songwriting contest that we talked about earlier. Um, does a lot of songwriting stuff. A lot of behind the scenes videos about his songs. All that cool stuff at Kyle Walls uh, YouTube channel. And if you want to find him on Instagram, fire it time. Go to our right. Kyle Walls. Our at our Kyle Walls <laughs> Instagram. And yes. that's right. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe here, please, and thank you. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Let's get this stream out to a lot of people. And um, for me, you can, of course, uh, go to uh, patreon.com slash Matthews Music Lesson Studio, where you can support the studio directly, uh, support my efforts um, to do these reactions, um, to do um, the live covers and original songs. If you're interested in music lessons from me, um, you know, you can get them censored or uncensored, whatever you like. Go to Matthews Music Lesson Studio. <laughs> Com. This is the place where you can record the music lessons on your device and keep them forever. Then that way you can review them at will. Take the lesson as many times as you want. MatthewsMusicLessonStudio.com. I'll teach you. We can do songwriting. We can do vocals. We can do guitar. We can do ukulele. We can do saxophone. All kinds of really fun stuff. We can even do the electronic wind instrument or the iwi. You can watch <laughs> me play with my iwi and I'll teach you how to best play with your iwi on MatthewsMusicLessonStudio.com <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time on The Sound Live! Thank you so much, Kyle, for being here with me. Hey, hey you're welcome, man. <laughs>